Hello everyone. Nice to see you all here on this cold winter's day. But today we're doing something a little bit different on the channel. But I'd like this to happen a little more often. So today I'm out in the Lake District. I'm up near Rydal, in Ambleside, and I'm doing a short little circular walk. If you have a look around me, it's absolutely stunning. Some people down there, look, everyone's enjoying this cold winter's day. But anyway, I'm just slogging up these steps here. And that's all at the minute, but when I'm on the top, so it looks like there's some frost up there, which I can just about see over on there. windy up here. I hope you can hear me. I'm on top of Heron Pike now. Uh, that's the summit over there. We've just uh, we've just uh, passed a peak called Nabscar, just down or that way. And uh, I didn't actually realise that there's one when I walked past it. And I just carried on walking, just kept kept on walking, eyes down on the ground, sort of thing. But by God, that was a bit of a slog up that hill. We've gained quite a bit of altitude in the past 45 minutes or so. Starting down there where that road is and it's getting really blustery up here now but as you can see there is a lot of ice on the ground I'm gonna carry on walking now until I see something, something interesting but um, other than that it's a pretty cold day I might put my hat on uh, I might put my fleece back on and um, yeah that looks a bit nasty up ahead doesn't it but it'll be a good view on top, that's the main thing. Some snow on the ground here, if you can see that. First snow I've seen all year. Still a touch windy. I'm about to walk across this ridge line to a great rig, I think it's called. And um, wow, it's gotten a, a touch more chilly. It really, really has got a bit more cold now, bearing in mind, I was walking up the hill with uh, two layers on, but now I've got, well, I've got my merino wool base layer, I've got my insulated trousers, uh, a technical shirt, um, a fleece, and a down jacket, hat, and a buff on now. So I've got a lot more stuff on. And I'm not sweating because um, you don't want to sweat in this sort of weather. Because when you start sweating in this sort of weather, as soon as the wind hits that uh, water, which is basically on your clothes, that'll chill it. It'll make it really cold. So, to um, counter that, what you want to do is wear technical clothing. So, synthetic materials, because if you wear stuff like cotton, or um, fibres like cotton, um, that can you lose all of its insulative value when it's wet. But uh, my wool base layer, um, that will only lose about 20% of its insulation value when it's wet. So even if uh, I do make the mistake of sweating too much, I shouldn't have to worry. And um, one way you can get rid of the sweat that's on your skin is by putting a layer on like this down jacket, because that will essentially cook all your clothes, um, and that will make the sweat slowly evaporate out. But that has to be a breathable layer. That wouldn't work with a Gore-Tex jacket or anything like that. So it has to be that breathable layer. There's a saying, um, I don't know if it's just made up, but um, the saying is uh, a wet Eskimo is a dead Eskimo because when you're sweating at them sub-zero conditions, as soon as you've done that, you're likely to experience a drop of body temperature and then that's eventually what causes death in the cold. But that's not gonna happen to us today, we're all right. The day is beautiful out here. It's definitely not that cold. It just feels a bit cold because of the wind chill. But yeah, we'll keep on marching on up this hill and see how it gets us. If, if we have a look over there, a lot of the little uh, sort of peak bogs and tarns, little sort of mini lakes on the mountains, um, they've all turned frozen. You could go ice skating on that. I think this one's just a peak bog. Yeah, we'll test if it's, uh, we'll test how thick it is. It's pretty thick, I'm on it. 
got all my weight on it, okay? Pretty thick ice. Let's see here. Ooh. Yeah, it's starting to crack now. Not as thick as I thought. Let's not make the same mistake that I made on my previous video. If I was to fall on that ice down there and um, suffer a total drench, then I would be and it'd be a bit a pretty sticky situation. I go man down very fast, and I wouldn't want to do that up here on these hills. Oh look, the peak's just coming to view up there. Well, the peak hasn't. The next ridge has. Well, I'll see you all in a short while. It's got really windy on this ridge line, but it's quite refreshing actually. A little bit of burn in my face, but if you can actually hear me now. Uh, now it's coming through the buff. It's not burning my face anymore. It's quite nice. It's like having the fan on on a hot summer's day. Oh well, maybe it's not that nice, but you get what I mean. You gotta be an optimist in these winter conditions. I think I saw a gentleman putting the tent away up there. That could have been me last night, but uh, I was too slow off the mark. Let's just say that. Where you off to today? Yeah. Um, How about yourself? I'm doing a uh, circular walk around the back there, uh, down the bridle. You alright? How are we doing? Quite a lot of snow on the deck now. A little bit of a scramble. I think we're nearly there, at the top. Nope, I was wrong. I've got all that to go. Well, it's not that far, is it? It's like 500 meters more. It's a little bit windy. Just a little bit. blanket, snow on top. I'm reminded of a much simpler time, a long, long time ago, when men from all over Europe were sent to protect an empire, a great empire, an empire that spanned across continents. And this would be one of the most barren places to be stationed as a learned legionnaire. Marching his way across, Roman roads, ways across the hills. It's been uh, far too windy to record anything really. It's even a bit windy now. You'll probably still hear that, well you definitely will hear that on the microphone. But um, I'm on my way back down the other side now. Probably has got around five kilometers left, not far. I should be on the bottom within the next hour. If I'm lucky, if I don't muck up my route or anything but it's uh, clearing up a bit as well as we can see over there you can see the sun reflecting off the sea well, I found my throne here sit on top look at this lovely view oh yeah that's where I'd sit if I were king walking in wild camping. Off with his head. Well, I'm walking along. The scenery's just getting better and better. And the wind's dying down now we're off the tops. It helps that I'm on this side of the wall. If you can just hear it there, you can hear the wind blowing through the wall there. Unfortunately, on the top of, uh, on the top of Fleetworth, we didn't get to see Thelmere, which I thought we would have, but it was too foggy up there. And to be fair, I didn't stop for two minutes, I just cracked on. It was absolutely freezing up there. But um, I'll show you Windermere one more time, and I'll show you what I'm looking at in front of me now. It is a spectacular view. 
So over there we've got Windermere, just over this dry stone wall. You can see a few boats going up and down. Over there is um, the Irish Sea. You can just about see over there, sea sea. And over there, that's where we were this morning, on that side. And this is where we are now. Last fell up there, low pike. High pike's over there, this one we've just been up. If I was babbling on about how beautiful Windermere looked. But up there, so our last wane right of the day. And then we're back on the ground after that. That's it, the last one. Windermere again. Well, uh, that's all. Unfortunately, um, so I was walking down that hill and I bumped into someone and I was just talking to them, got a bit carried away as I do, and I forgot to start filming again. But, you've seen all the good bits anyway. Um, anyway, this might be the last time I get to drive this car, so I'm going to enjoy the drive back now and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, that's all for today. I'm Dan Purvey. I'll see you in the next one.